Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another quant price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the quant chart which at the time of this recording has continued to hold above a key area of support at around the 133.2 dollar mark. We have also lost the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance. We have also fully maximized our target areas to the lower side in the formation of this larger ADU 12 count 2 and I believe that whatever we are seeing at the moment could be the start of a massive bounce to the upside in the formation of these larger ADO 12 count 3 to the upside and before I get further into the technical analysis and also give you my next price targets to the upside in the formation of that with 3 first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the video here on the 4 hour chart by first giving you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that after seeing the all time high we started the bear market where we had been seeing lower prices in this ABC corrective structure in a move that gave us a low at around the $40.1 mark and after seeing the bear market low we started this massive bounce to the upside of being the ADU structures where you can see that I have this editor structure in blue having the with 5 making its peak at around the $229 mark and also completing the formation of a larger ADU 12 count 1 to the upside and after seeing the formation of a larger ADU 12 count 1 to the upside whatever we expected next is a corrective structure in the formation of a larger ADU 12 count 2 where we also expected to see an ABC corrective structure also play out where we saw this ABC corrective structure giving us a low at around the $94.4 mark and after seeing the low for that higher ADU 12 count 2 whatever we expect on the long term scenarios is the start of a massive bounce to the upside in the formation of these larger ADO 12 count 3 and sketching out minimum target areas to the upside in the formation of that with 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that with 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of that higher ADU 12 count 3 at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the $399 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that wave 3 to the upside to do and in the formation of that wave 3 which is an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation within the formation of that wave 3 and I believe we are seeing such a scenario over here where you can see that after making our low in the formation of that wave 2 at around the $94.4 mark we saw the formation of this 1-2 setup and after seeing the formation of that 1-2 setup we started this 5 wave structure to the upside where we have seen that first wave to the upside giving us a peak at around the $165.5 mark. We have also seen a retestment over here in the formation of that wave 2 which has now given us a low at around the $126.7 mark and using the Fibonacci is connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that with 2 between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618 and that lies between the $133.5 mark and the $126 mark and you can see that the low that we made at around the $126.7 mark perfectly lies within that target area and after seeing the low for that higher ADU 12 count 2 whatever we expect next here on the short term scenarios is the start of this massive bounce to the upside in the formation of these wave 3 and sketching out its minimum target areas by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the FIBs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the $230.6 mark and it is within that target area that I'm expecting to see the high for that wave 3 and in the formation of that wave 3 which is an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation within the formation of that wave 3 having the wave 5 of the fractal wave fully maximizing our target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 and I believe we are seeing such a movement over here and if I zoom in so that we can see that better you can see that after making our low in the formation of this wave 2 right here we started this bounce to the upside giving us a peak at around the $148 mark in what I'm terming as the high for that first wave to the upside so we can term that as the first wave to the upside and after seeing the high for that wave 1 whatever we expect next is a corrective structure in the formation of that wave 2 and once the low for that second wave is in then we can expect another bounce to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 before we can expect a wave 4 and then push even higher in the formation of that wave 5 to fully maximize our target areas at around the $230 mark in the formation of these larger ADU 12 count 3. So that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and sketching out minimum target areas to the lower side in the formation of these wave 2 which I still believe is what we are seeing by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave down there to the high 
of that wave 1 that gives me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 between the fib level 0.5 and the fib level 0.61 it which is a target area that we first fully maximized and you can see that we have not lost the fib level 0.61 it and continued pushing even lower and because of that i have to extend my target area back to the fib level 0.78 and because of that now my target area lies between the 137.5 dollar mark and the 131.3 dollar mark and i can remove the fibonacci's and it is within this a uh, new target area that i'm expecting now to see the low for this second wave and once the low for that second wave is in then we can expect that massive bounce to the upside in the formation of that wave three and we also need to continue watching the lower side of this uh, uh, red target area because that lies at around the fib level 0.78 and in case we lose the fib level 0.78 that will be putting a major challenge on the formation of this second wave in case we lose the fib level 0.78 and continue pushing even lower we also have a support zone at around the 133.2 dollar mark so in case we continue pushing lower over here there are chances that we might get the support of the 133.2 dollar mark and in case we get this, that support at around the 133.2 dollar mark then i'll be expecting to see a bit of a bounce to the upside get above the 20 day ma continue pushing even higher also break above the key area of resistance at around the 147.9 dollar mark and in case that happens then i'll be expecting a retest and, and once the retest is in and a success says then we can continue pushing even higher to fully maximize our target areas but in case we lose that key area of support at around the 133.2 dollar mark then i'll be watching the fib level 0.78 and using the fibonacci is once more connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one the fib level 0.78 lies at around the 133.2 dollar mark in case we lose that key area on the fibonacci then i'll be watching the fib level 0.88 which lies at around the 129.2 dollar mark and in case now we lose that then that will be invalidating this editorial structure that i have right here and in case such a move plays out then i'll have to have a different edit to have count here on the quant chart so let's continue watching for those moves over here continue watching the key area of support at around the 133.2 dollar mark because in case we continue holding above it then i'm expecting that massive bounce to the upside in the formation of that wave three but in case we lose it we need to watch the fib level 0.78 which lies at around the 131.2 two dollar mark and upon losing that one then that will be putting a major challenge on the formation of this second wave to the lower side so that is what i'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and also on the long term scenarios and also taking a look at the indicators here on the rsi we are trading at around the 36 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices in the formation of that with three and also any movements to the lower side will still be supported also taking a look at the macd here on the macd we have been able to print a bearish cross and we also so seeing an increase in the selling volume meaning there are chances of even losing that key area of support at around the 133.2 dollar mark to fully maximize this target area in the formation of that with two and once the low for that second wave is in then we can expect our massive bounce to the upside in the formation of that with three so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated